All right, here we go. The big final. Woo! Cameron Nuss, Scott Croxall, John Fisher, Pacom Schmidt. The big question is, can Cameron Nas win and take home the series title tonight? The World Championship title on the line if Scott Croxall gets third or lower. But Scott Croxall, I would imagine, wants this bad and wants to take the win. Who gets out in front first? It is Nas. Cameron Nas out in the lead. Scott Croxall right on his tail, though. Scott's got a lot of pressure on him. He needs to stay on his feet. You heard Cameron. Nas oh, is down. No. Nas goes down. Croxall moves into the lead. Paco Schmidt passes him, and he is now in fourth place. That was a huge mistake by Cameron Nas. The pressure may be just a bit too much. Scott Croxall knows he can win his first major of the season. He was pumped up by his win in Rauta Lampi, and now he is leading out in front of Paco Schmidt and John Fisher here in Juvescula. What an amazing turn of events, and that is what makes this sport so exciting. Trace, we said this all day long. Anything can happen, and anything just did happen to Cameron Nas. It almost looks like Cam's given up. Oh, my goodness. What a turn of events here. Scotty Croxall will take the win here in Juvescula, and that means he is going to take the points over to the next three Riders' Cup events as well as to the big final in St. Paul, Minnesota. So Scott Croxall keeps it alive in 2016, and he still has a shot at becoming the overall champion. And if he does that, he'll be the first ever to win back-to-back -back world championship titles. It's not going to be easy, though. Nas is skating phenomenal. Yeah, it was just a really wet, mushy ice here that caused problems for Cameron. We can see here he had the lead, he got into the corner here, and I don't know, it just he just lost it through that wet section. You can see the shiny ice there with a puddle forming. Scotty saw him go down, moved around the backside of him, and that left it wide open for Scott because Cam just couldn't get up. The momentum was gone, and there you see he just lost an edge trying to find his skates again, and here Cam is down and out. Paco Schmidt, John Fisher cruising past him. That is a really tough position to be in for Cameron Nass. I feel bad for the guy, but at the same time, you can't try too hard because he's got two wins on the Red Bull Crash Dice Series, and he's got a win on the Riders Cup Series. So he is still leading in the overall points for the Ice Cross Downhill World Championship, but this just means that he's got to work extra hard in the next three Riders Cups, and he's got to have a big battle on his hands in St. Paul, Minnesota in February when we head over there for the big final.